This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh coincidence. It contains depictions of violence. All right. Here we go. Pretty sure every game has to say that. Jack? There's a voice calling to me. Wake up, Jack. It's a woman's voice. I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll kill up soon. I opened my eyes. Oh. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I know, I know her. Not just because she's my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. What? Can we talk? Is your throat too dry? Hang on a sec. She comes back with some water in a paper cup. Oh, she's getting closer. She helps me sit up and puts the cup to my mouth and lets me drink. Good. Feeling better now? Yeah. Feeling better. Thanks. I'm a little concerned on what's going on. Uh, I'm playing a visual novel. Um, so a movie? Kind of. That's, I mean... Great. Are you, are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How's your leg? She came close. Oh, does it hurt? Are you bored? I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. Well, if you say so, tell me if there's anything I can do to help. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, actually. Yes, Jack, what is it? What's the date today? Do you know? Oh, the just that. 16th. It's August the 3rd. TLR. Darn. Darn it. Today's August the 3rd. I'm sorry. It's okay. I see. Thank you. This bitch creepy. Yeah, she's, she's a little creepy right now, dude. Anything else? I shrug. Oh, yeah. I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Other patients, you know. Yeah, other patients. So I'll be back in a bit. Don't worry. Look. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, Anna. Leans down and pecks me on the lips. Things are getting interesting. And we just started. Bye bye. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Start of journal, August 3rd. I'm going to kill someone. Okay. Well, I would say Probably. That's Probably. Her name is her name is Anna. Oh, okay. Um Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa was right, Dixie. I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man. But what else can yeah, okay. I do? It would be wrong to uh, let her just... live, right? What? I don't... I'm probably going to watch the stream. Yeah, Hold you on. might have to watch the stream, TLR. But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. I'm too weak. I tested my grip strength today. I wrapped a hand around my wrist and I squeezed. Couldn't make it hurt at all. Not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter much. Even if I was strong enough, I'd go through with it. I'd still have to wait. I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Who's Grace? Grace. It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got her involved. Please be safe, Grace. Please. Grace, 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 Grace. Calms me down when I write your name. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm so sorry. This is an interesting little triangle. We got August 4th, next day. The journal's still here, thank God. I was afraid she'd still find it somehow. When I saw that she didn't, it was such a huge relief. That's why you don't just write down you're going to kill somebody right around the person that you might kill. Hey, who's that, buddy? I wanted to write in it right away, but no, I didn't. I have to be patient. 
right only when I'm sure Anna isn't around. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now I was oh, to stop that. Comet. Comet, you have to go. We're doing a story. Comet. If you're gonna lay right there, then you can lay right okay, well. Oh, well, she's around, tending to patients, pretending she's not who she really is. Who is she? There's a thing I waited. It's a good thing I waited. Whoa, hello. She came to the room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked me how my night had been. I held back from telling her how I felt about being here about her. I mean, it's not like I can hide everything not after what happened. But at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. Who knows? Maybe she seems like going back how I was before. So many questions. I haven't gone back. I'd rather die than be like that again. But it'd be nice if she believed that. She let her guard down. Well, it doesn't matter that much, really. <laughs> Even if she finds out I'm planning on killing her, so what? So what? So what? I'll end her life just the same. If it comes to that, this is messed up, Comet. I'll do it. I'll, I'll fucking do it. Don't don't tell me. If I need to kill on him to save crates, I'll do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> you know what? Actually, Grace doesn't even need to be saved. Yeah. Grace is fine. Somewhere far away. Not a care in the world. I'm worrying over Nelly. Yeah. Yeah. If only. <laughs> this guy is, uh... A little bit of a disarray right now. It's bright. August 5th. I haven't gained any strength back yet. Am I being impatient? I might be. The doctor thinks that for sure, that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I could do, but he told me to shut up and rest. Hi, DLR. Give me the panya. Why are you in such a hurry for her? He asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. I'm going to kill that bitch. In the other room. That's what I'm going to do, Doc. My next idea was to find a weapon. It's a hospital. I haven't seen anything good, though. It's not anything good. I'm still looking for something I could use, but I haven't gotten my hopes up yet. I mean, I could rip out the needle in my arm, connect to the IV drip, but I don't think that'd be a good murder weapon. I mean... Imagine your doctor in Italian is shut up and rest. Shut up and fucking rest. What then? Hey, what then? I can't think of anything. My mind is foggy from the drugs and the pain. And God damn it. Why is there always so much bullshit? Damn it. Why do I always All I have to say them? is that I'd be really good at reading these. You should do that on your stream, TLR. Maybe instead of playing Ark and getting killed, you should stream visual novels and just read them to people. Dixie's having a good time. I'm having a good time. I hope you're having a good time listening to me read this visual novel. Unless you came in here to criticize me, and uh, that'd be okay. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm really good at reading. She's really good at reading. Nothing I try is going to work. <laughs> yeah, TLR. <laughs> August 5th, again. I've calmed down. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now, of all times. No emotions. That comes when I'm safe. When we're safe, both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. They set the bones in my legs straight and everything, and it's healing in a cast. But it'll be a long time before I'm able to walk. So he's got a broken leg. Dixie can't read. 
Good thing your job doesn't require you to know that, Dixie. So that's good. I think. So maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. Can't help but get my strength back. I was a doctor when I see him. It's early morning. I hear someone coming down the hall slowly, not in a hurry. It sounds like they're wearing hospital slippers. Most likely it's a doctor and a nurse. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. True. Big facts, Dixie. The door opens. The doctor comes in. A step behind him is the nurse that is not Anna. I sigh in relief. Oh. I wish I could read some of these. It's bitch shame to have a face. <laughs> but your stream's so behind. Stream's a little behind, yeah. yeah. Glad I got you into it, though, GLR. Glad I got you in it. That's what we like. That's what I gotta get my audience involved. And a lot of pain, huh? No, it's, it's not that, Doctor. But well, we can wait. Shut up and rest. Yeah, what is with that face? I, it's just, uh, I guess they didn't want to make one, so they just were like, hey, what if we just made a black smudge? Scribbly? Yeah. That's a good idea. Unless it's urgent. It's, it's not. Very well, then. <laughs> the doctor can't be over 35 years old. Why is that? Why does that? What is it? What does that have to do with anything? He's wearing a gold watch and fine leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all. More like a businessman. Well, he doesn't look like anyone to me because he doesn't have a face. My doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse, checking on the patient, spending no more than a minute each. He comes to my bed last. He's a man of mystery. I'm pretty spooked. It's spooky. It's spooky. <laughs> okay, Mr. Friday. My name is Friday. Jack Friday. What was it again? Let me see here. He leaves some papers and clicks his tongue. Ah, you fell. Yeah. <laughs> I fell. How the hell did you manage that? This isn't a very professional doctor. No. Oh. These substances we found in your blood work explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Dude, this guy's a fucking dick. You're, you're retarded, aren't you? Getting high and... Doctor, you can't say that. Yeah, thank you, nurse. Oh, sue me. And you, don't do it again. Next time I won't batch you up, you hear? What? Whoa. Bro. I'll try not to. He's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. We got more important... Oh, dude, calm it! trying to read back important things on my mind okay <laughs> doctor how long can i start walking again at least with crutches i don't know what what you you're a doctor aren't you my doctor you're, you're a doctor the very same why do you think i operated on you i looked down at my leg very, I'm sure you gotta be like, doctor, how off. long can I, how long until I can start walking again? Well, at least with crutches. Like, you, you gotta talk with emotion. Who are you? Me? I don't gotta yeah. talk with emotion. I don't have to. But, like, I'm not who talking do you think with operated on you? I look down at my, like, you're skipping shit, so no, I can't. No, I look cat. down at my leg, and I'm suddenly very unsure what I see are when the cast comes Are you telling me on. how to play the game right now? <laughs> it's not a game. Is it? Visual novel. It's kind of a game. It's a story. Can't you at it's least story. guess when I'll be able to walk? Like, you're uh, reading questions as statements. That's all I'm saying. Keep going. I'm listening. Ow. <laughs> Don't kick me. Don't kick me. Oh, I'll have Ryan do that. <laughs> no! Precisely, Dixie. Backseat gaming. Thank you. That's what happens when uh, all your other friends are gone. And TLR's bored. This is how you get hit with the ban hammer. 
Yeah, she's about to get hit with that. She's gonna get that. She's gonna get that. No, we're not. I'm gonna tell Ryan everything, and he's gonna be like, "Can't just ban." No, no, like a rocket. Dixie, don't be mean to me. I'm gonna read everything as a statement now with zero emotion. How does that sound, Dixie? Just plain, boring. I like want to play a part. Like I want to do it with you and like play a part. I want to tell you. I want to play with you, Luke. I'm only being mean because I want to play with you. Can you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? Question mark. <laughs> I'd rather not. When you're standing next to him, uh, next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. But why not? Don't I deserve to know? There, there you go. Well, at least uh, a lot of factors were uh, play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. Plenty of factors can change how quickly you can heal a whole lot. So who can really say? Uh, factors like what? Oh, so many of them. Like what, Scoob? Like, uh, glances down at his papers. Uh, like your blood pressure, which is crap, by the way. This guy. This guy. Are you, are you stressing over something? Yes. No. No, doctor, I'm, I'm not fine. It frowns a little. I want you to be stressing. Well, you're fine. Get your feedback. Relax. What are you in such a hurry for anyway? You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything because you're, <laughs> you're a lazy piece of shit. Huh? I didn't even know that. Oh, well, nurse. Uh, snaps his finger trying to remember. What are you doing, Mr. Kitty? Anna? Nurse Anna, yeah, that's the one. She told me. Ah, uh, yes, I know about you too. No need to act surprised. A lucky guy, you know that? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna kill her. And I first found out I was against letting her care for you, being objective and all that stuff, you know? But she really wanted to, so I thought, whatever. Semantics, and she's taking it well, so it's okay. I, it's, I get it. Doctor stares off into space. Then looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. Oh. What? Uh, she's the reason you wanted to get the hell out of here, huh? Oh, somebody boy, Mr. Man, oh. I don't blame you, there's no privacy here at all. Oh, oh. oh no, I, I did it. Don't be ashamed now, it's I get what it's like. I, I know what it's like to want to bang women, huh? Drops the smile. You can't be thinking of those sorts of things, you got to rest properly. All right, all right. He leaves with a thumbs up. <laughs> Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling and another one is grumbling what must be jealousy. Idiots. My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times now. How? You're in a hospital bed. There's like only three places you can hide it. I've got to write in it. I've got, I've got to. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone. Even if someone is a piece of paper. But not now. She's still out there somewhere. I've changed Jack's voice like four different times already. August 6th. Damn it. God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but uselessly. Wait. 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 Oh. Wait and wait and wait. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. Wait, wait, wait. For how long must I wait? It's two hours after I've written down those words. <laughs> Looks like he waited. Uh, I'm looking at a little notebook. This is my journal. I've got it in my hands. It's in my hands. I'm amazingly lucky to have it. So when I left the notebook and pen in the nightstand next to my bed, I checked the nightstand drawers on a whim, and there they were. 
Now there are only things keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. What kind of hospital are you in, fam? Counting the pages I've gotten left in the notebook, checking how much ink there is in the pen. And she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Oh, God. It's Anna. Good evening, boys. She greets everyone. She's only looking at me. I remember back a hello. Meanwhile, my hands are still holding the notebook, clenching it, actually. Just clenching it. On the power of my hands, I feel beats of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is very small, very small. My hands must be hiding it from view, or are they? If she's noticed, Anna plays it's in her mind. She wheels in the cart with her medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under my blanket, smooth it over, and lie quietly. Hi, old nub, sweetie. And they jump it. <laughs> Anna's whisper was, I didn't notice her approach. Fine, I'm fine, thanks. Hmm. Jack, you don't remember what I told you. It's, it's not good putting on a brave face. I'm here for you. Okay. What's, what's this about? Does she know? <laughs> Does she know I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill her? I know everything, you see. She leans in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Y yeah? Yeah. Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know. And he told me about how much trouble you're having. Down there. Notice I realize what she means and my body loosens up. Oh, uh, yeah. That. That's a, that's a bit of a problem, I guess. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Well, I'm sorry. Your health is priority over sex. <laughs> but don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hands on my blanket and starts smoothing it out absentmindedly. Oh. Makes me happy, though, to see you like this again. After how you acted before your accident, I thought, never mind. Without warning, she limbs even closer. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. Since you're even so eager, Jack, I promise that after you're released, I give you the time of your life. I'll make you forget about, about Grace. Her words are like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. Hmm. So you still care about her? I don't like that. Oh. Someone like you and someone like her should never should have been together in the first place. Please think only of me. After all, we were made for each other. This bitch is, uh, she's crazy. If I do, I promise I'll be with you. Always. Will you leave Grace out of this? No, that's not good. Uh, I can't do that. Everyone's gonna kill each other at the end of this. Just you're asking that shows you're still thinking about her. Yeah? She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me, and what, and what I'll do. To you. We'll leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? Well. Ah, at least that girl's good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy, even though you're still so confused. What? What's going on? Anna, please. Please, Anna, please. I'm close to crying. Ah. Oh. I don't want to tear my hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. What the fuck? As long as you do one thing for me. What's that? Do you know what it is? I do. Of course I do. It's something she's been telling me to do for ages. Since before I got here. It's like a broken record. You want me to remember everything. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. 
you and everything will be perfect. Ah. We'll be together again forever. Dude, look at her fucking face. I promise you'll remember. I promise I'll try. No. Oh. <laughs> That's not good enough. You promised you'd try before. Look where that got us. Tell me you'll do it. I, I promise. I call it. I I'll call it all. Good. Um. Okay. We'll work on that when you get out of here. But if your memory comes back to you before then, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. She was at the car glancing back one last time with the eerie look of hers. I can't tell. I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that. When we were both children, she. No, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins. Grace dies. What is this situation? And maybe I die too. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> yes. Can't win by playing along with honest delusions. Chapter two. Lord Jack lost. August seventh. I can't just sit here waiting. I've gotta wait and I will, but I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing and it's eating me up. My stomach is empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Did you know that? Do you know that? I do something right now, I'm afraid. Why is he getting red? If I do anything right now, I'm afraid I might go crazy. But the notebook was keeping me sane. Oh, the color changes. I'm hurting my eyes. I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll make that only make sense if I think. Right now my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind like flies around a turd. <laughs> what the fuck is this writing? flies around a turd. I want my mind to be clear. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> to do what I'm doing. To do what I'm going to do and to do it properly. My mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. The notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here it goes. Everything. Oh, we're about to about to learn. Oh, we're in a grocery store. I met Anna. Met her again after so many years in the store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited that store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. Ah, oh, she's a fucking stalker. She looks uh you look very lovely today, uh, Anna. You look you look lovely with the the necklace and the the flowery skirt and the professional top. The first time she came in, I was at the cash register. She walked straight up to me, cutting in line. The old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Okay. It's a useless sentence. Um, I just done her while staring at me. And she said, No. No, you can't do this. No, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't start here. I can't do it. There's already too much of that woman in my life. I'm gonna start with someone else. Someone I miss. Her grace. Grace. Oh, is that Grace? Hello, Grace. Oh. Cute little green bow. Um, your bangs are a little uneven. I guess that was uh, applied. Um, jeans, red tennis shoes, some bands maybe? I don't know. Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was a, and is still a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet. That's perfectly fine. I hated her. <laughs> uh, okay. I hated most people. This guy's a, this guy's a, a character. Most things. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I give it. Give it. Mm. 
I was a real asshole. Got it. I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a coworker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. This guy needs to watch Yes Man. Then he'd figure it all out. Just how I was. How it always been. I bought a grace too, of course. She tried to talk to me a few times, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The times we still ended up working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked for a while. When it comes to the... Okay, 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 Mr. Kitty. No. They came to the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. Here we go. I was restocking the shelves alongside an old, greasy, long-haired man when Grace came along. He's a very descriptive man. I didn't even look at her. I didn't even look at her. Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. Uh, die? You could wait for me, alright? You can go up to the, uh, to the bottom shelf of that. Don, the old man, thanked her and left. Grace started walk working next to me. Oh, she's a. Uh, She's interested. <laughs> a minute went by. I thought I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. I had to say something. Fine on my own. Fine on my own. Huh? Hmm? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I find on my own. I don't know. I didn't mean to do it in the sea. Can't she take a hint? I thought then. It's, uh, it's his back, you know. What? Don't back hurts a lot. So I asked him to swear. Oh, I see. He had trouble with the lower shelf, so. I get it. <laughs> I didn't do it the body, I swear. I said, I get it. Okay. She looked so sad. Went on restocking in silence. For about another minute. <laughs> Um, I know you don't like me very much. I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. So I'm sorry. I sighed. <laughs> Who says I don't like you? You, you did. You did, Jack. Um, you said it. You said you don't like anybody. Huh? Don't you? You're always a uh, avoiding me. Yeah. I don't take that personally. That's just how I am. I'm um, a huge dick. I'm a huge dick. Comet, could you not attack the screen? Could you? Could you? Could we not? Can we not? That's just, that's my, that's, you're not gonna, you're not getting anywhere with that, buddy. Comet. No, that's, that's a screen, buddy. It's not real. None of this is real. Come on, you. That's how I am. I don't care about other people. Fucking dumbass. Okay. If I could go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would. So, you like me? What? No, I didn't say that. You want food? Let's get, I'm gonna get food for my cat. Somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere different. 
All right. Well, no, I didn't say that. Get a clue, brah. Get a fucking clue. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. <laughs> Went and talked for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She'll leave me alone, I thought. Now that she knows, I prefer it that way. But she didn't. I always thanked my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Man, dude, he really, uh, he liked Grace. Maybe she should have, though, for her own sake. I hope she can forgive me. What happened to Grace? Writing about the past has uh, been a good idea. Right now, if it didn't even bother me who I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace remembering the way she smiled is giving me courage. She's been hurt because of me. I still... She got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. The weather was nice out today. It was cool. The sky was blue. There's a tiny window on the wall to my left. I can look through it if I twist my head around. The patch of sky, the only beautiful thing around here. That and my memories of her. Okay. Okay. Hi, Jack. Hi. A beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it all the day. Yep, let's, let's do that. Uh, your uniform is kind of uh, regular, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it is. I haven't, I haven't got an iron, so. Jeez, you're really hopeful, aren't uh, Yeah. Stop giving her that voice. I wouldn't go that far. Maybe I should get Anna that voice. I think Grace should be given a little bit more credit. You know, just like a, like a, I could iron your clothes for you, if you said pretty, please. August eighth. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more, talking to me more and more. It was a gradual thing, just hello and goodbye and how are you doing at first. And just like alluded to full conversations. That's how you do it, dude. You get, you get in their head. Slowly. Well, I said full conversations. They were so pretty bare bones. I noticed how friendly she was being, of course. I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. Hey, Jack. There's this bar just down the road. I hear it's a good place to go. So, how about we go there? After work today. To relax. I go to bars to relax. And she asked me out for drinks. And I surprised myself further by saying, uh, sure. Wow. He, he did it. Good job. Oh, look at those lights. Oh, look at that bar. Look at the beer handle, dude. What the hell is that? <laughs> I want to know what this beer is right here. How do you like it here? Isn't it nice? It's all right, I guess. Ah, ah, ah. I really don't know, honestly. I don't go to places like this. It's just uh, it's a new thing for me. Uh, well, I, I don't either, not a lot. But I thought it'd be fun, you know? Ah, ah, ah. Sort of Jack and Cope. Oh. oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I'm sure that woman ordered. How about a Negroni? She got like a Negroni or a, I don't know, like a one drop or why a Jack and Cope. Some, uh, some artists right here, guys. Didn't know what to get, so I asked for one too. Oh boy, it's gonna be a night. My drinks came quickly. That's because it's a Jack and Coke. It's as quick as you can get them. It's the quickest drink on the, in the world. I honestly think that I don't know if there's a faster drink out there that I could possibly make. They were cool and plentifully, pleasantly sweet. I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. The waitress had giggled while taking my order. I took it as an insult. There's something else just as dumb. Um, no, your drink order was dumb, bro. Can't remember exactly. Uh -huh. 
feels good to relax after a long day at work, doesn't it? I grumbled. Bubble. What is it, Jack? Nothing. It's nothing. I sipped my drink. Why, well, something bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't have to drink if you don't want to. I, I don't. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I mean. I mean this. This. Just throw out everything around that doing things. People. Doing th doing people things. Huh? Why? You want to get even? I explain. We're just too different. I'm just too much of an asshole, man. I'm too. I'm too much of an asshole. I've had it rough in life. <laughs> This is a wild ride, Dixie. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> My god. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I, oh, well, oh. It would be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. You dumb asshole. Silly. Fucking moron. No, what I'm saying is it's just not fun for me. I don't I don't like this. I want to be at home playing Minecraft or jerking it off the tentacle form, man. Come on, come on. No, I, how can you say that? We barely have been here for ten minutes. Yeah, that's the face of, yeah. I just just know. That's because you're drinking a Jack and Coke. <laughs> oh, a little little smug right here. A little little mm, okay. That's a that's a little well, it's on that eye right there, little ladies and gentlemen. We, we like that. Doesn't seem happy I said that. So you want to leave? Uh. I actually hadn't thought about leaving. I'm just complaining. To complain. This guy's a... I, I feel like Grace is the only decent character in this. <laughs> Jack's a dickhole. His doctor is an equally big of a dickhole. I was just... Uh, where's it? Where's Don at? Bring back Don. Well, you can't leave. Oh, not yet. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. If you're going like this, then you're never gonna have any fun in life. You promise at least give being with me a chance. You want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. It's a lot of Jack and Cokes. A whole hour. Oh. Please. Please. Comment. Don't do that. Don't do that your food. I swear, if you spill all your food everywhere. Please. Fine, I can do an hour. Comment. 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 Please. Please don't. Good boy. Thank you. You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. Take off your clothes. It seemed like such a long time. There's a clock on the wall opposite of me. I was just going to stare at it for the whole hour, counting down the minutes. This guy's up. Ugh, he's had it rough in life. Poor guy. And when the hour passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then something happened. Something. What put you down here? Grace was having trouble. I had never seen her so awkward. She was stammering, struggling to find stuff to talk about. I realized it was because I was just sitting there, barely saying anything. Yeah, dude, um, it's because you're just trying to talk to a wall. You ever, you ever talked to a wall before? Does it doesn't go well. It's acting grumpy. Too. Couldn't have helped. No, it couldn't have helped, bro. Back in the store, when there's so many distractions around us, it's easy for her to chat with me every so often. A few words here and there. I had, I hadn't had to do much back then. Besides, not sitting down, talking face to face, it simply couldn't work like that. No, it doesn't work like that. After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace gave up. She sat there, looking at her drink instead of me. Aw, poor Grace. She 
just wants to talk to the lonely, lonely man. She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. It was just a few minutes I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't stand that. So I started talking. Oh, look at you, Jack. Uh, yeah, finding the strings inside yourself. Atta, boy. The protagonist strength. I love it. I said the first thing that came to my mind, no matter how stupid. Don't know why I did it. It feels so unlike me, both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. Or unlike the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace, or maybe it was the alcohol. You've had a Jack and Coke. And I, from what I know, you haven't even finished the Jack and Coke. I'm... Um, have you not eaten in three days? I don't know. Maybe it was both. Really doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. But then there was no part of me that was never relaxed, no matter what. No, it wasn't even a part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist that wouldn't unclench. But now I found I could relax. Little by little by little. And before I knew it, I was... A really was having fun in this girl's presence, talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. But what did we talk about? I don't remember. I don't remember, Comet. Comet, what, what were they talking about? What were they talking What I do remembers, remembers is that I had more fun than I had in years. An hour passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for hours longer, drinking Jack and Cokes and and the like. I remember one thing we talked about, actually. We somehow got on the topic of family. What's your family like, Jack? I, I can't say. What? Oh, I see. You have to talk about it if you don't want to. Sorry, Jack kind of not speaking in terms of my family either. Why's that? I saw... Actually, I don't really want to talk about people that much. Hang out with them. I'm good. Outside of work. I'm kind of uh, alone a lot of the time. What? Really? Just like me? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's, this surprised me. This was this was news. This was crazy. 